Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Blancpain 50 Fathoms Flyback Chronograph. You can see this automatic flyback diving chronograph and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full listing for this watch with additional accessories included, high-resolution images, and naturally full pricing details. Now, on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. This 45 millimeter watch is surprisingly easy to fit, and there's a reason for that. The special sauce is a very narrow distance from lug to lug. The watch is effectively all case. Now, 45 millimeters across the round of the case, that is 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock, not including the guards, the pushers, and the crown. Despite 45 millimeters across the round, it's only 50 millimeters from lug to lug. So the watch wears easily with very little risk of overlap. You can see that the strap actually splays out at the edge of my wrist, and that's on both sides. So that realistically, even if my wrist were smaller, say down to 15 centimeters, maybe even 14 and a half, I would have a very low probability of the watch splaying out over the edge of my wrist and looking poorly proportioned, or fitting in securely. I believe down to 14 and a half centimeters in circumference, your wrist is going to wear this with style and security. Now it is a little bit thick. 16 millimeters, it does sort of loom out and over its base such that it's a little bit wider at the bezel than it is at the base. So it might hang up on the absolute tightest dress cuffs, but a watch of this size with this kind of presence is probably best left visible instead of buried under your sleeve. A handsome watch. It's part of the 2007 to present Blancpain 50 Fathom series in the 45 millimeter case with the now classic, one might even say iconic, rounded sapphire bezel. It's incredibly handsome and it's paired with a strap of quality to match. It's made of sailcloth on the top, very, very robust. It's also bolstered so it has nice body and volume as it approaches the lug junction. Now it's held on with screws, which is the more secure way of attaching a strap to a very heavy sports watch. It's the right way to do things. It means that Unlike with spring bars, it'll take a little bit longer to remove the strap, but it's not likely to remove itself during a period of accidental violence. Now on the underside, it's wonderfully lined with a supple, rubberized surfacing that protects the sailcloth from sweat, grit, moisture, body oils, ensuring that an already durable material becomes even more so. It has a handsome and quite simple, easily adjusted Blanc Palm pin buckle, 18 karat rose gold. This is great for on the fly changes during periods of activity, hot weather or cold, when the size of your wrist may change in small ways and you need to make incremental adjustments. Now this is considered to be the Cadillac of dive watches and for good reason. You can see the size, the detailing, the quality of the materials, the beautifully full polished bezel case and case back with an anti-magnetic iron cage inside to protect the movement and what a movement it is. We'll get to that in just a moment, but first that bezel. The bezel is incredibly rich. You can see from an angle just how dramatically domed that sapphire is. This is not like the flat sapphires you've seen on IWC aqua timers and various Bremont dive watches in the past. This is entirely in a class by itself. The rounded appearance echoes the polycarbonate or the thermoplastic used on vintage 50 fathoms, but unlike those which were easily disfigured, this one's effectively as scratch resistant as the sapphire crystal at center, so the entire bezel can be loomed, which means Effectively, because it's protected, luminescent material can be put under the bezel, protected by that sapphire cap. So you get a one-of-a-kind visage when this watch is viewed in low or no light conditions. Beautiful 18-carat applied rose gold hour indices, beautifully loomed as well, with hands at center in matching 18-carat, also beautifully loomed, as are the sub-register hands. So this is a completely functional watch including complications in the dark. You'll also note that beautiful black dial features one of the most discreet date indicators in the business at six o'clock. It's easy to miss it entirely unless you're looking for it. So that information is available, but completely transparent when you don't want to see it. And the dial is beautifully balanced with a classic tri-compacts arrangement. What it also has is the practicality of a chronograph with flyback function, simply push the reset trigger, no hazard to the movement. It's designed to be reset and restarted with the use of a single pusher. Now it's known as the F-185 caliber, and important to note that the 185 caliber is a flyback chronograph, 40-hour power reserve based on the Frederic Piguet 1185 series. 
It is smooth, it is modern, it is ultra thin, it is high horology, it is beautifully finished, and it features both a column wheel for crisp function selecting and a vertical clutch for smooth chronograph engagement. You can see when I stop the chronograph and then restart it, there's absolutely no jump. You'll see a jump with a lateral clutch. Not a problem here, and thanks to the column wheel, I enjoy a very crisp tactile experience. Now it's also important to note that with a vertical clutch you can just leave the movement running. If you prefer to have seconds at center rather than reading the constant second subdial at six o'clock, that's a wonderful boon for those who prefer visibility and at a glance access to hours, minutes, and seconds without fighting for it. Moreover, you've got a chronograph in tandem with a diving bezel. So if you set the index to the minute hand, now you can time something zero to sixty minutes using the minute hand aligned with the index while timing a separate interval using the chronograph function with 300 meter water resistance and again an internal soft iron cage to protect the movement from magnetism this is a very deluxe and very rich sports watch that nevertheless combines all of that luxury with unarguable capability you can see it and you can purchase it on our website